The stadium game is not exactly a tough contest to figure out. A sports owner will tell a city, if you don't meet our demands, we will go elsewhere. Elsewhere most of the time means staying in that city with either a new or renovated stadium. In Chicago, the owners of the National Football League's Bears, the McCaskies, went on a tour of Northern Illinois with the purpose of finding some city, town, or village that is willing to give them some sort of tax incentives or tax breaks and maybe some money so that Bears ownership could build a stadium village. Politicians in Arlington Heights, Aurora, Chicago, Naperville, Richton Park, and Waukegan wanted a chance at building the Bears' planned stadium village complex. The McCaskey family purchased a 326-acre piece of property in Arlington Heights that could house a stadium village. At one point, the McCaskies were dedicated to the Arlington Heights site and planned to move the team to the Chicago suburb, but then the McCaskies received the tax bill on the property and didn't like what they saw. The property tax was higher than anticipated and that caused the McCaskies to do a double take. Now the McCaskies seem to think that maybe Chicago is their kind of town. The Bears president, Kevin Warren, said he recently revisited talks with politicians about building a stadium complex in Chicago. The McCaskey family is contractually obligated to use Soldier Field for Bears home games until 2033, but the lease can be terminated early if the McCaskies pay a lease-breaking penalty. Warren is not going to break off talks with Arlington Heights or not listen to pitches from politicians in Aurora, Naperville, Rickton Park, or Waukegan because the McCaskies are looking for public money to build a stadium village. That's how the stadium game is played. I'm Evan Weiner.